Hi, and you are still watching Obsuna. <gasps> Obsession. <laughs> Welcome to those who are new to this channel and another teacher talk and another teacher topic that we will be discussing for this episode. And I'm going to be sharing with you what are the achievement and recognition in the field of teaching that I have received last year, 2019. I could say that last year was my pretty good year because I have received not one, not two, <laughs> but three awards. Okay, so this vlog is not intended to make a humble brag or flex or, you know, to, to showcase whatever recognition that I have received, but more on to inspire people, especially to those Filipinos who are striving, teaching abroad, and at the same time, who are somehow thinking that, can I be world-class? You know, at some point of our career, we come to think that, can I be world class? Can I make sabayan? Wow! <laughs> Pwede ba tayo makapagsabayan sa mga, sa mga, mga foreigner teachers natin? Sabihin ko po sa inyo, pwedeng pwede po. And this is how. So last year, <coughs> nakareceive po ako ng award. If you are teaching here in UAE, yung mga award na possibly na pwede mong makuha in terms of, sa, sa field ng teaching, nakuha mo. Especially if you are teaching PE or MAPE. Okay? So, isa-isahin natin dyan. Yung iba doon, hindi naman talaga award-award. Okay? But more on recognition. Okay? So, at least something na mabubus yung ating moral in terms of our profession. So, let's get started. Ang unang award na isi-share ko sa inyo is yung UAE Team Sports Award. I-insert ko. Eto na yon. Uh, martial arts teacher, sure, remember that? Okay, right, next up, the category is for Racket Sports Female, under 15s. Let's have a look at the... Yeah. So, yung UA18 Sports Award, ito yung award giving body na ibinibigay na private sector siya na nakatie up ng KHDA. Yung KHDA, alam naman natin dito sa Dubai, <coughs> sila yung governing body pagdating sa education sa Dubai. So, etong etong uh, award giving is parang Oscar award. So, happen na uh, this year, nanalo kami. I mean, last year, nanalo kami. So, I have been teaching here in, in, in UAE for more than nine years now. And first time ko lang nanalo. It's para siyang awards. Na ipapano yun, ikukwento ko po sa inyo. So normally, uh, last year was their fourth edition. So this year is going to be fifth. So nung fourth edition na kawa ko siya, during their first, naalala ko pa, when I was in my other school, uh, hindi ka nanalo. Two years din akong nag-attend nag noon, pero hindi ako nanalo. Paano ba yun? Normally, nag nagbibigay sila ng invitation <coughs> sa mga schools nila. So ang ginagawa, dumidirekta siya sa PE department. So, yung mga PE head nyo, ginagawa, uh, kung gusto nilang mag-entry, kailangan nilang i-fill up yung registration. And at the same time, kapag na-fill up yung registration, tapos bibigyan sila ng pangalawang, pangalawang email na we have received your registration. So, if you may want to to parang entry your, your category, so marami silang categories. Meron silang for individual categories. Age group yun from under 15, under 19, under 17. So, meron yun iba-iba in all the sports individually from athletics, from 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 running, swimming, and all. <coughs> Even team sports, meron din sila. Coaches also meron. <coughs> Even school, they are giving also recognitions. Yung mga program ng school in terms of facilities. Lahat ng related sa sports, be it yung mga academy at saka mga gyms dito across all UAE, binibigyan nila ng recognition. So, pag nakalusot ka sa first set ng, ng essay question, hindi ako nagkakamali per category. Lima yung question na i-answer mo naman Miss Universe question. Then after that, bibigyan ka nila, pag na-shortlist ka, bibigyan ka nila ng another set of question. But that, by that time, magpo-provide ka na ng mga evidences. Okay? So, anong evidence mo? Kung halimbawa, i-entry mo yung sarili mo as a good coach, ano yung mga programa mo, ano yung mga experience mo, ano yung mga 
seminar na attended mo. So, para lang din siyang pagda-ranking. Ngayon, kapag na-shortlist ka, mamimili lang sila ng top best of the best. Tapos, yun yung i-invite nila for a gala night. So, yung gala night, tawag nila gala, tari for sa atin, we used to say it as gala night. So, yung gala night dito is may bayad. Ang bayad nun is, yung ticket nun per head is 420. If I'm not missed, uh, 420. Ang nagbabayad naman kasi school, hindi ako. So, a-attend kasi isang formal na gala night na may mga wine pa, may pa beer. So, yun. Tapos talagang ano, talagang prestigious para talaga siyang Oscar. You don't know kung ano, kung mananalo ka ba or hindi. So I have been attending ng yung yung event na yon for four years na, four consecutive years. Hindi ako nananalo. Tapos first time pa lang nanalo nga last year. Nanalo ako for under 15 category. Inentry ko yung estudyante ko. Siyempre, do hindi ako yung hindi ako yung nanalo personally, but I am the coach and at the same time I'm the one who, who made an entry. Yung school namin is naka-name at most specially yung department namin. Being the head of the department, isang malaking karangalan na yun. So, yun. Uh, congratulations. Isa siyang prestigious. Hindi lang siya para sa, sa, sa British Curriculum School. Uh, katulad kami, Indian Curriculum School kami. Open siya sa lahat ng curriculum school, be it French, be it Emirati and be it Filipino uh, curriculum school, open siya. So, this is UAEY. This is not only Dubai. So, UAEY, open siya. Talaga namang ina-attendan siya ng napakarami. Ayun, maganda lang na ma-expose ka sa mga, ano, mga gala na, na mga event. Next, pangalawa naman is yung I got featured dito. Yes! Guwapo, di ba? Yan. So, ito yung Teachers of Dubai. Yung Teachers of Dubai, isa siyang private group sa online, sa social media, makikita mo lang siya sa Facebook at saka sa Twitter. Isa siya sa, hindi pala sa isa, isa siya sa pinakasikat at saka nakatie up din siya against sa KHD. They are giving recognition to the teachers. Not their worth, but how how inspiring a teacher of Dubai is. So, paano ba yun? So, ang nangyayari, nag, nag-visit sila, nag conduct sila ng mga school visits dito sa Dubai. So, happen na during the, the visit, nagkaroon ng communication, you know, internal communication between school and between that company. So, one day, nag-schedule sila ng visit sa, sa Philippines, sa, sa school, nag-visit sila. Tapos, yung principal ko na, ano, uh, namili siya ng pwedeng iba to or pwedeng candidate as teachers of Dubai. So, isa ko sa pitong napili sa school namin na pwedeng i-feature. So, in-interview niya ako, ang, ang teachers of Dubai, they showcases yung, uh, they showcases yung mga yung mga hardship, yung how, how inspiring your story to become a teacher. So, naalala ko nung during my interview, I, I talk about how I'm able to pursue education despite my situation in the Philippines during that time. How I managed to have my 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 McDonald's work while I am studying education. So yun yung, yun yung stories na gustong i-come out. Kasi naturally, ang galing ng interviewer kasi naturally, ang ganda ng pagdadrive niya ng conversation. You know, I was really, you know, flexing pa nga na ito, this is what I'm doing. Talagang niyayabang ko pa. Pero sabi niya, we will not going to talk about your, your work here. But we will be talking about how inspiring your story is. So yun yung pinifeature ng Teachers of Dubai. And yun, uh, weekly nagpo-post sila na mga inspiring stories. Na hindi siya madali. Kasi this is also underpinned by KHDA. Supported siya ng KHDA and recognized. Ayan na. And for the last, ito talagang pa-humble brag ko to talaga yun. Nakasama lang naman ako sa six amazing teachers award ng Yala Dot School. Ito talaga, pinag, ito pukpukan to. Tsaka yung pangalan ko, big name, papakita ko muna sa inyo yung video. Insert. Pssh! So, after no video, ganito yun. Uh, bibigyan ko kayo, nasa description below yung link. Okay? Nasa description below yung link 
kung saan yung pwedeng mapanood yung yung complete vlog ng Yales ko man nag-vlog din ako. Ano to? Isa siyang open invitation dun sa website ng yala.com. Okay, so this year it's going to be their seventh edition. So ang ginagawa ni Yala School across all the UAE, they are giving recognitions to those amazing teacher. But this time it is going to be how amazing are you in terms of teaching? So talaga dito if you flex mo lahat ng peda mo, if you peda means pedagogy, if you flex mo lahat ng mga innovation na ginagawa mo pagdating sa teaching, if you flex mo talaga, talagang isa-shout out mo dito kung ano-ano ba yung mga, yung, yung ways ng pagtuturo mo. So, I have a lot of innovation in teaching PE. Hindi lang ako nag-head ng department, but at the same time, I'm also teaching from kindergarten to grade 11. So, ang dami ko, nilisted out ko, talagang meron silang form na ibibigay sa sa'yo, isasubmit mo yon ay, pwede ka na palang lumabas. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, may form sila, tapos pag may form, uh, mag-upload mag, mag, mag ka ng photo mo, tapos sasabihin mo kung ano yung mga ginawa mo na somewhat kakaiba. Isusort nila yon Okay? Tapos mag-e-email ka. Pag nag-e-mail ka, may mga question kang sasagutan. Again, supported by your evidences. Talagang sa panahon ngayon, dapat marami kang evidences. But good thing, I have a lot of evidences, be it photos or videos. So, sinan ko lahat yon Tapos, inisa-isa ko, Meron ako dong isang evidence na sa word siya, inisa-isa ko yung mga innovation, mga innovative way of teaching ko, yung paggamit ko ng mga QR code, yung paggamit ko ng teaching game for understanding, paggamit ko ng flip classroom, paggamit ko ng manipulative card skills, yung, yung somewhat really different and you know outside of the box way of teaching, nandun siya. Eh, ginagamit ko naman talaga na yun sa, sa department ko. Ginagamit namin talaga yun dito. So, after mga ilang buwan ba yun? Parang two months ata. Tapos nag-email back siya na you got shortlisted na you will be receiving an award, blah, blah, blah. Yes, there you have it. I hope you got inspired. So, kayo dyan na Filipino teachers, if you're thinking na hindi naman tayo makakasabay, you're definitely wrong. Makakasabay tayo. Tayo pa ba? Filipino tayo. It's just that you have to move forward and be at your best. And at the same time, wag kayong matakot na mag-entry. Especially if you are doing a very good job. Ako nun, una pa lang, matatakot ako eh. Am I eligible enough pag sa mga ganito? Pero kung hindi mo kasi susubukan, walang mangyayari. Just keep on pushing yourself na we'll try this, we'll try this. Anyway, kung hindi ka naman mapapasok, kung hindi ka naman recognize, it's a win-win situation pa din because at least you get to try. At least you get to you you get to taste the experience. You know you know the feelings of 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 submitting and uh, doing this kind of work. Maganda din. Ang pinaka tip ko lang sa inyo in order for you to 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 one day na magkaroon din ng achievement is collect. Okay, collect all the things. Collect all your work. Put it in a single platform. In my case, I have my Twitter, I have my YouTube. Pag sinabi kong Twitter and YouTube, uh, lahat yun work related. Yung mga ginagawa ko, inilalagay ko sila lang doon. Not to gain followers, but one day I know, kakailanganin ko siya. So, katulad nga nito, nag-ask sila ng evidence, sinab ko lang lahat ng link, tapos na. Yun lang. So, collect all your evidence, gather as many evidences as you have, put it on a platform, kung gusto mo ng platform na sa, sa Drive or sa Facebook, make it private, but thinking also yung, yung safety, kung if, if whenever you are exposing children, pag gagamit ka ng platform, so you have to think about it and make sure na approve yun ng school mo. Yun, so pag one day, thinking na kakailanganin mo din siya, at yun na nga, so there you have it once again. I hope you get inspired. Kaya mo yan. Kaya, kaya mo yan. Ako nga. Gago-gago lang ako eh. Parang wala na. Hindi ko naman masyadong sinesayos eh. But one day, marirecognize ka din. So kung sa tingin mo, at this point, hindi ka masyado pang recognize. may araw ka din. Okay? Yun yung like kong sinasabi. There is one day, okay? There is one day that you will be heard and your work will be noticed. Sana na-inspire ka. Dito sa Obsuna, Obsession.